What's up guys, this is Sunny back with another video and today real quick I want to show you guys how to install Mac OS Mojave to your Intel Z370 build. Now I asked you guys if I should make this video and you guys wanted this video badly so that's the reason I'm making this guide. Now before we start this video you need to watch the first part how to create a Mac OS Mojave bootable USB drive for Intel Z370 build. There will be a link in the video description or up there. Okay, so make sure you watch that video so you can create a bootable USB drive. So then you can come back to this video and watch how to install. Now, before we start, I'll just go through the parts I have in my build. So the motherboard I'm using for this build, uh, Asus Strix z370 h gaming motherboard this guide should work with any z370 motherboard maybe your bios settings will be a little different but this guide should work the cpu i'm using i7 8700k now this guide should work with any uh, 8th gen cpu and a 9th gen cpu also the ram i'm using HyperX uh, Fury uh, 8 gig RAMs. Uh, these are uh, 2133, but I can overclock these RAMs to like 2666. The graphics card I have in this build also Asus RX 580 uh, 8 gig variant, and uh, also we'll install macOS Mojave to my uh, M.2 drive I have 128 uh, gig. So let's not waste any more time and let's just jump into uh, virus setting and after uh, we change some setting in virus and then uh, we can uh, jump into the installation part. So remember the motherboard I'm using for this guide I don't have to change like too many settings in the virus but I want to show you guys anyway because maybe your motherboard will be different than mine and your settings will be different than mine okay so let's just jump in all right guys so you guys can see we are in the vice right now i'm really sorry i have to capture with my camera right now uh my hd uh 60s the elgato capture card is not working so hopefully you guys can see clearly so i'm in the vice right now and uh the motherboard i'm using for this uh guide again is the asus rg strix a z370 h gaming motherboard i do have the latest virus uh, bias version 1901 the cpu i'm using for this guide uh, intel core i7 8700k so any 8th gen cpu will work with this guide okay any 9th gen cpu will work with this guide any z370 motherboard should work with this guide and also if you have a asus z370 motherboard most likely you don't have to change any setting in bios and i'll show you guys so let's just jump into advanced mode okay and we can go to exit load optimize defaults okay now make sure you have your usb drive uh, plugged to your uh, usb port your computer usb port uh, 2.0 or 3.0 now if you try to boot with the usb 3.0 and you are having problem you can boot you're getting stuck then make sure you use usb 2.0 all right now let me show you guys a couple of the setting maybe you should change because uh, uh, maybe if you have problem uh, if you are having problem like you, you, you know you can boot from the USB drive now uh, AI tweaker if you want you can enable the XMP profile you don't have to but if you want you could do it because that really doesn't matter uh, just don't overclock your RAM or don't overclock your CPU while you're trying to uh, install uh, Mac OS Mojave because then you will have a problem make sure you reset the virus okay default setting now if you go to advanced um, you really don't have to change anything in CPU configuration uh, maybe if you're having problem you can just uh, uh, by default most of the time Intel uh, virtualization technology is disabled but if you have this enabled and you are having problem you can disable that but you don't have to you can do it if you if you're having problem now platform my uh, configuration you really don't have to change anything here all right in uh, system uh, agent uh, you can disable the vtd okay make sure disable 
uh, graphics uh, configuration uh, you don't have to change anything here just leave as is default then go back uh, PCH uh, configuration uh, if you're having problem with the uh, IOA PIC you can disable that okay uh, PCH uh, storage uh, configuration make sure you have SATA mode uh, selection AHCI enable network stack like if this if this option is enabled I I would recommend you guys to disable that okay uh, HDSD smart you don't have to do anything here USB configuration uh, you can leave as this now let's just jump into boot so CSM you can leave it enable uh, secure boot make sure other OS okay and uh, that should be it as you guys can see I don't have to change any settings and I have my USB uh, plugged in so I'll just uh, save change and I'm pressing F8 so I can jump into the boot option all right now we can boot from the USB UEFI Lexi USB now we can boot from boot Mac OS install from Mojave installer All right, so we are in the installer right now. Uh, you can pick uh, the language you want. So I'll pick English. Next. Continue. Okay, now we need to go to utilities. Disk utility. Okay, now if you don't see your drive here, it's okay. Just go to uh, the left top corner see the uh, drop arrow click on that and show all devices all right so I'll use my PCI uh, SSD that's my inline SSD uh, m.2 click on that go to erase and then you can uh, name your uh, drive whatever you want so I'll just name mine Mac Make sure format Mac OS uh, extended journal and then uh, GUID partition map. Then click erase. All right, done. Now we can close out of uh, disk utility. Continue. Agree. Then we can uh, pick our uh, drive here and then continue again and this process here will take at least uh, 12 to 15 minutes right so I will be back after this process is done all right so we are done with the installation I'm pressing F8 so I can jump into the boot option now we will boot from our USB drive again so UEFI Luxury USB to Clover bootloader all right guys so now we can boot from our Mac OS Mojave hard drive so you guys can see boot Mac OS from Mac so we'll enter now the first boot should take some time because we have to uh, set up our um, Mac OS Mojave for the first time so we have to go through some uh, settings and stuff
Alright, so we're in the welcome screen. So basically we need to uh, pick our uh, regions, the country where you live in. I live in uh, United States. So I'll pick United States. Continue. 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 Don't transfer. Set up later. agree agree now you need to type a username and also password now we can click continue continue now you can pick the look the theme so I personally like dark theme uh, you can close this keyboard thing now what we basically need to do we need to open the browser download clover configurator So now internet should be working and also sound volume should work. So we need to download Clover Configurator. Click on download. And make sure, in order for your internet to work, make sure you do have your ethernet cable plugged in, okay? Or your internet not going to work. Now, if you get this message, no problem, go to system preference, security and privacy and click on open anyway open and we need to go to mount EFI and we need to mount our Mac OS Mojave bootable USB drive so we need to mount the partition you guys can see Laxer USB here we need to mount partition and then type our password We can open the partition and uh, copy the EFI folder to our desktop. You can just drag and drop. Now we need to mount our PCI SSD. You guys can see on the top. The bottom one is my Windows drive. So let's mount the top one. Mount partition. We need to type our password again okay open partition and you guys can see we already have a EFI folder it's okay just drag and drop the EFI folder from our desktop and that should be it we can unmount and close our Clover configurator Now, uh, if you want, you can keep a copy of the EFI or you can just uh, delete it. And now we can restart the computer. So guys, we are done with the installation. System should be working perfectly fine. Uh, sound should be working. Internet should be working. We don't need the bootable USB drive anymore. We can boot directly from our Mac OS Mojave drive. So real quick, I'll show you guys. So I'm pressing F8 to get in the boot option.
Now I'll boot from the first drive, UEFIOS, PCI SSD. That's my Mac OS Mojave drive. And then I have two options, uh, Windows and Mac. So I'll boot from boot Mac OS, Mac. So you don't need USB anymore. You can unplug your USB. So everything should be working right now. Sound should be working, internet should be working. You can go to sound and uh, see the output. Make sure you check the play feedback and show volume in the menu bar. And we can just pick the in internal speakers. And like I said, sound should be working perfect. All right, guys, I hope this video does help you guys. And if this video does help you guys, and if you guys want to thank me, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also don't forget to like this video. I also have a Patreon uh, page. If you want to support me, you can definitely check out my Patreon page. There will be a link in the video description. And if you have any other question, don't forget to leave in the comment section. I'll be more than happy to answer you guys. That should be it, guys. See you guys next one. Peace.